good afternoon wherever you are on this amazing planet today welcome to the highland park show we are without our main host bishop evans today but don't worry i am here to fill in my name is andre bell i was last week's co-host and i'm going to continue to co-host the show with bishop evans he is out of town speaking in chicago so let's make sure we send our prayers for him you know having a wonderful a wonderful and blessed trip this this weekend uh, away at his adventures now today we're gonna have a guest on very shortly um, a Highland Park native uh, someone who's become kind of a benchmark in our community um, but he's running a few moments behind we don't pen a lot of people for being late um, but we do have to keep the show moving and grooving so like I say good afternoon welcome wherever you are kick back relax because we got 55 minutes of some cool crack -a with your boy, Andre. Um, so I don't know about you guys. This past weekend, it was eh, some good weather. I'm quite sure. You know, I, I smelled a couple smokestacks around the neighborhood. You know, everyone got out with the, the grills. We got that one highlight of, of, of nice weather. They tried to tease us a little bit and then got right back cold. I don't know what that's about. Michigan weather so bipolar. But we... We looking for one more good snow and then we wait ready for spring. Um, I don't know if any. If I'm a, I'm sorry. I have to mention this. I'm a baseball fanatic. I played baseball for 20 years um, in the city of Detroit. I ended up playing Division One OA at college. I graduated from Cass Tech in Detroit High School in Detroit. But I have to mention um, there is there has been a, a MLB lockout. I don't know if anyone follows baseball, um, but there has been. A, a lockout, a, a dispute between the MLB players and the actual, you know, with their unions and the owners of the MLB clubs. Now, this lockout has actually be, been on the basis of players wanting more money because, and there's actually been a lot of discrepancies that have been happening with a lot of organizations holding back, withholding players' funds, not allowing them to be paid what they should be getting paid um because the owners are i i'm not gonna be biased i'm not gonna say whether they stingy or not but let's just say they're making a killing and the players are you know they out there they they putting their lives on well not their lives on the line but they're you know they're putting their bodies at risk every day you know training st strenuously um playing day in day out and they feel like they should be getting compensated more or at least more fairly than what they are being treated at the moment but that's off topic. Um, we're here to talk about Highland Park. So this month, uh, I'm sure everyone knows March Madness basketball, college basketball is going crazy. Um, it, it's, it's starting to get crazy. You know, everyone's really hyped up about the college tournament and everything happening. But I want, you, I want to talk to you guys about a, a team that we actually have in Highland Park. They're in the junior NBA um, they have an entire organization. They have boys uh, football. They have men, boys and girls basketball. They have cheerleading. Um, they have gymnastics. Uh, the Motor City Chargers, coached by, honored by a JD, uh, JD, J. I don't know, can't think of his last name. But the Motor City Chargers, they play right in. They they practice and they play right in Highland Park. And like I said, they have all different ages from eight and up. Um, boys and girls basketball. They have boys football. They have gymnastics and cheer for the ladies. So there's really a lot for, you know, we, we like to talk about and highlight our youth because we want to get our youth active and acclimated into the communities. But that's a great way. It's through group sports and group team activities because that's the most important thing that you, that a, a person moving into the community needs to learn how to do, and that's to be engaged and be able to work well with others, to, to play their position, play their role into the community for the bigger picture so that we can all do better and have an outstanding community. So what better way to start off than in team sports and in team group activities? Uh, we also... And my speaker should be coming here any 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 moment now. Um, he is like I said, he's a Highland Park native, and he actually is bringing a martial 
arts class to Highland Park. And that's really big. So it, it's amazing to have something that you can learn self-discipline. Um, and because that out that stretches further and beyond the martial arts, but in your everyday living, to have that self discipline and self control, we see it lacking so much nowadays. Um, one thing happens: the wrong person says the wrong word, and we're just off the rails. But when you have that sense of self discipline and self control, we're able to to control our emotions and what's going on, and be able to you know not fall victim to. Uh, chaos or commotion involving other individuals. So that's a huge aspect that we will be, you know, touching on to when he gets in the studio, asking him some some questions in that respect. Uh, we also, I, I know we spoke about it last week. So Club Extreme, uh, we, man, I, I can't, I'm truly ecstatic because we have so many different teams. We have a 14 under team. There's a 15 under team. There's a 17 under team. There's an 18 under team. So females of all ages can come out and and it doesn't matter their experience level we have beginner intermediate and advanced classes they can come out and learn the game of volleyball that's another team sport and we love the team sports getting acclimated well with working with one another um but re this past weekend we had they had a tournament out in redford and west bloomfield and that's not it we travel all across the nation we have gone to washington dc we have gone to Pennsylvania. Um, we are moving, uh, coming soon. We will be going, um, I think, back out to not, no, we are going to Pittsburgh very soon. And my guest just walked into the room. But to finish up on the topic, Club Extreme, you know, we, we do a lot of traveling, um, you know, giving girls an experience to, to travel on a flight. Um, for some of their first times, actually really amazing to see some of their reactions to ever be on a, to step foot on an airplane for their first time, to be able to give them that experience. Uh, whenever we travel, we, we put them in nice hotels. Um, they always get catered meals, so it's never eating fast food, eating the junk stuff. No, we get, we find the best premier chefs in the area and we get them to come and just lay out a gourmet meal for our for our children because that's what we want them to experience being treated like young kings and queens growing up in an atmosphere and be exposed to different things they may not have had the 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 fortune of being experienced to before come on brother come come on sit down we, glad you showed up i'm glad you're here trapping i'm sorry i'm <laughs> trying to get things together no so I, if you could just, you know, go on and, and just explain a little bit who you are. I know you're, you know, a Highland Park native. Go ahead and just, yes, just say a little bit about yourself for me, please. Good. Uh, I'm Grandmaster. Well, I'm Marshall. Uh, everybody call me Grandmaster Dixon. Uh, I run the IDC MMA Fight League and Grandmaster Dixon's Taekwondo and Kung Fu Institute, which we're getting ready to incorporate inside Soul Harvest Church. Mm. <laughs> right in the smack dab center of Highland Park. And yes. I, I believe you are from Highland Park, correct? Well, actually, I was with the Highland Park uh, Police Chaplain Corps. Okay. And I taught in the Highland Park Police Academy. But I'm actually from Detroit. But Highland Park is my home. Because you... That's where I live now. Okay. <laughs> So you said you actually taught in the police department. So in the police department, are they they're learning martial arts? I, I, can't, I can't tell you about oh. other departments because too many people getting shot. But in Highland Park, when I was with the uh, police chaplain corps, before I joined, I taught in the Highland Park Police Academy. And I taught the reserve officers that were going in to be police officers. Mm -hmm. I taught them basic hand-to-hand -hand combat. That's it. Basic self-defense. Okay. So, okay, perfect. So let's talk a little bit about your history, because I heard you're kind of a Highland Park hero, if I'm not mistaken. That's I, that's what that's what the word <laughs> on the street is. That's what I heard. So if, if you if you don't if you don't care to share, I, that's what they say. Okay, but I, it was God's work. God the hero, and then mm -hmm. He just used me. I was a tool. You know what I'm saying? I was there at the right time. I'm glad I was. It was scary, 
it was during the big fire, the big Helms fire, when okay. the fire uh, took place, and, and it caught us by surprise. It burnt longer than we expected, mm. and it happened in an area where it was a lot of senior citizens at. Mm. And we had to evacuate them because the fumes and the tires and stuff that was coming from that fire was infiltrating with the living space. And Highland Park Police Department, being small, wasn't able to handle that fire. So people had to, you know, other departments had to come in, in which somebody had to evacuate them people. <laughs> and that's what I did. Well, I'm, I'm sure they're very thankful and they were glad to have you on the scene that day. Um, so now let's talk a little bit about your martial arts experience. So how long have you been learning this skill? Because I, I know it, I know you can never say, I know you are a grandmaster, but I know you don't technically say you've mastered it because it's, it's a continuous exactly, learning process. that's right. So how long have you been learning this amazing skill? <laughs> I've been training in the martial arts since I was 11 years old. It's a long time, 11. I don't want to ask you to tell on yourself. I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to see if they can guess on their own as I go. <laughs> well, you and Bishop, you put me on the spot. <laughs> but I can imagine since 11, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. I put it like this. I graduated from high school in 1968. <laughs> <laughs> so... In my journey in the martial arts, I've studied five different arts okay. uh, or systems. How many are there? If I'm oh, sorry, I'm going to cut you off. But how many? Unnumerable. Un un it's a lot. And, and it's a lot growing. Mm -hmm. You know, all of them is not recognized under the, you know, the federations or wherever they, uh, whatever system that they're under. But a lot have been developed from what people have been picking up and adding a little bit here, adding a little bit there, you'll find new arts cropping up with new names. But they're basically all the same. Okay. So you said you studied five. What five did you study specifically? Oh, man. Uh, Taekwondo, WTF. Okay. I studied a little ITF, Taekwondo. They're, they're different. Uh, one is North Korea, uh, Korean and one is Southern Korean. So you got WTF, which is World Taekwondo Federation, and you got ITF, which is the International Fed mm -hmm. uh, Taekwondo Federation. And then you got ATF, which is the American Taekwondo Federation, that's a new one. Wow. You know, they kick with their toes but uh, uh, in tournaments and stuff. And then uh, I studied uh, Hungar Kung Fu, Wushu Long Arm, Southern Style Kung Fu, Bando, and uh, under the Mudokwan system, Tung Sudo. Okay. And I have to thank uh, Grandmaster Isaiah Gavins for the Tung Sudo uh, teachings because he's really good. Okay, great. So you said you've been learning since the age of 11. So how long have you been training um, other individuals to learn these amazing skills? I started teaching my system in 1999. I'll never forget that because that was Princess. That was that breakout record. So I'm telling on myself at this point, mm -hmm. I was only one. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> At but that time, I was only one year old. So a great, a great saint, though. So I, I asked you this question. Piggybacking off of that, since I was saying I was born in 1999, how old would you say you have to be to start training, learning mixed martial arts? Now you got mixed martial arts, and you mixing it up with traditional martial uh -oh. arts. My apologies, Grandmaster. Yeah, you, <laughs> you're bringing in a whole no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so let me know to what's start, the difference to start training in anything. I say you can start when you're able to comprehend what is being taught to you. So I start t training children or teaching children from age three, three and over. If I just taught them two kicks every time they come to class, they're mm -hmm. gonna learn them two kicks eventually, and then I'm gonna move them to something else. Martial arts is a lifestyle. It's not something you just come into and do that. Uh, no, no, it's, it's a lifestyle. It, it, it builds your character, keeps you in good health, it keeps your spirituality strong. It, it teaches you how to do teamwork, conflict resolution. It, uh, resolution. It's so many things that you develop from learning something that you have to continuously do. Mm. It becomes habitual. And, and, and that's what we try to do. We try to 
in, instill that into our lives to mold our character. You know what I'm saying? And you don't see a lot of martial artists out getting in trouble. Yeah, that's you know, that's one thing I was speaking on before you got in here was talking about you know building character, yeah, um, we need that. And, and teamwork and everything oh, to man. be a good stewardess in our communities. Yes. Um, and you know you were talking. I also mentioned before you came in that it, it helps build a, a sense of self control and, exactly. and self discipline. Um, so how have you seen yourself mature in these respects? I don't fly off the handle like I used to. <laughs> My my name coming up, they used to call me Duke. So you know, if somebody something happened, oh here come Duke. They knew so some pause was gonna get thrown. <laughs> so I've learned to control my temper considerably. Hmm. Even oh well, I'm I guess my age they know now, but it's not many people who I've grown up with that's still here. I mean, I'm sixty eight. I just turned sixty eight Christmas. Oh. But God bless me with with, with vitality, strength, knowledge, courage, uh, spirituality, perseverance. Oh man, I'm just I'm I'm a God's child. I'm ready. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes, Hallelujah. Wow. Um. So with, uh, I kind of really I'm intrigued because you know I know we're talking about. You are in, you are going to be instrumenting uh, your school into the campus at Soul Harvest Ministries. Yes. Um. So, can you tell me a little bit more about you know what we have to what we can expect out out of this moving oh, forward? Oh my goodness! I started off my school as Grandmaster Bay's Taekwondo and Kung Fu Institute. I dropped the Bay because it was a Muslim you know type mm. tag, and I you know I, I changed. My religion, I got that right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm using my name. I'm Grandmaster Dixon's Taekwondo and Kung Fu Institute. And what our goal is, is to bring the children off the streets, put them in a, a, a controlled atmosphere, mm -hmm. a safe controlled atmosphere, and teach them self-defense. Not only self-defense and learning how to fight, but self-defense and containing yourself when you when you have to, teaching you how to think. Self-defense is self-defense. Thinking is a defense. So um, most definitely, I think yeah. that's a defense a lot of people don't yes. use. And you in know, a doing lot of things, that, yes, a lot of things happen oh, and people just they don't know how to walk away or be quiet. Yeah, they they fly off the hinges because they don't have that strong sense of self-discipline. So when they're confronted, it's just. They they revert to the yeah. Head. They just go, and that ain't even necessary. It ain't good for the, the person that you're doing it to, and it ain't good for yourself because you don't know what's gonna happen after that. And I think that's a big reason why we have a lot of violence in our in our community exactly. nowadays. So would you? So let me ask you this question: Do you think if more people knew martial arts, people will stop start putting the guns down? Without a doubt. Either that. More people start learning martial arts and the ones that's carrying the guns don't want to be, uh, learn because they think the gun is sufficient enough to hold them down. Mm. Then we're going to have a problem because they're taking guns. See, guns sometimes give you a sense of false courage. It's good to have. Don't get me wrong. I, don't, I mean, I will, okay. But. <laughs> that's behave not grab. But you cannot use a gun in every circumstances. And, and matter of fact, in, in, in the society that we do, in most cir circumstances, you can't. Now, you know, the police officer, they're not even allowed to use their guns in certain uh, circumstances. But with this government we got, well, getting back to me, yeah. <laughs> I'm teaching children and adults or whoever want to come and train. Okay. Discipline, self-discipline, control, conflict resolution, and, and the fight moves. Actually, I'm only teaching them how to exercise. Mm. I'm just trying to get them in to exercise. And that's, but, a, that's a big part of yes. that, we, that we don't do, especially now with COVID. We've been stuck and, inside and you. we haven't had the opportunity. But the exercises of martial arts are the moves, are the fight moves. They're the same. Just like, just like blockings. When you block somebody, you can use a block to block or a block to strike. Mm -hmm. So the exercise is the same thing in, in martial arts. I'm just teaching people how to exercise their body, stay limber, loose, stay healthy, be able to, you know, pop them paws and legs when they have to, you know, because everybody's not going to run. 
So let me ask you this question. This thought just came into my mind. Since learning martial arts, do you feel like you've uh, has your diet changed at all? Have you monitored what you eat yes. because you want to maintain that that limber that come sense with of the, mobility? That come with the thought process. Process. Okay. As you discipline yourself, you start. You know, you start feeling better about yourself. You start eating better too. You know what I'm saying? Because you know that food gonna continue that good feeling. Yeah. You'll be going against the grain to work out all day and then sit up and eat cookies and cakes all night. <laughs> it make no Just sense. defeating the purpose, right? You ain't doing nothing but hurting yourself. So I, I want to bring a martial art program to Soul Harvest that will get the children off the street and, and I get them involved in state, national, and world tournaments. This is how I got my world titles. I have seven mm. world titles. You said I you mean, have how many world seven, titles? I have seven world titles. I have two state titles, two national titles. I'm in the United States Martial Arts Hall of Fame six times. You said you're in United States Martial Arts Hall of Fame six times. I, God keep telling me to tell you this, but you know, you just why you got me telling on myself. <laughs> but yes, and I want to allow students the same opportunity to to learn and do their skill in a competitive arena. You know, Taekwondo is recognized as college credits in several colleges, and two of them is Michigan State and the uh, University of Michigan. No, I did not yes, know that. Yes, they have Taekwondo school uh, 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 dojangs inside those colleges, and if you take courses, you get college credits for that. So you're saying you're going to be also giving out college credits no, for... No, I didn't say that. I told oh. you what the, the <laughs> colleges offer. Me, you will get a certificate of completion of each belt or each rank that you go through. Mm. And in my system, is eight belts. Well, it's really seven because the white belt come with the gi or the dobot. But you have to go through a series of belts. And as you go through, through these belts, which are gups and dance, you earn certification for that so you said there's seven belts right yes and i believe i'm not mistaken the highest is is a black okay that, that's another thing see you have many martial arts systems so their belt systems run different you okay. see what i'm saying i'm following yeah they, they belt system run different in mine which is wtf taekwondo the white belt come with the dobok and then in a lot of the terminologies is different because of the the culture of mm. the, the people that's right. teaching the art. So uh, you got the white belt, which comes with your dobok. Your dobok is a gi in Japanese. That's the uniform you use. Americans, we call them gi dobok. So everyone gets a white belt. Yeah, oh, everybody get that. <laughs> uh, the next belt after completion, you know, when you go through three months, your first three months of training, this is how the training goes on ranking. Every three months you test for another belt up into mm. a blue belt. Once you get a blue belt, then it's every year up into a black belt. Once you get your black belt, you start getting dance. Those are the stripes on your belts. You know, to, to show you. That takes you up from a, a Sabanam or Kwanji or Kawanji to a, a master or a grandmaster. Mm. You know, so those ranks are very important in the system. Um, so what rank are you? I am an eighth Dan, black, in WTF Taekwondo. I'm a gold sash in Hung Ga Wushu Long Hong Kong Fu. I'm a fifth degree black belt in um, Tang Sudo under the Mutaquan system. So basically don't mess with you, that's what I'm hearing. <laughs> I don't mess with you. You don't mess with me. That's how I live my life. <clears throat> I don't mess with nobody. You know, I, I got a crew that I run with. And that's it. That's God, Jesus, you, Bishop. And that's it. That's all I know. Oh, I was about to say. I, I mean, that still sounds like a dangerous crew. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, but, but we we a peaceful spirit. spirit. We, we get your, spirit we, feel, yeah, right? We get your heart and your mind. <laughs> Make you feel guilty. <laughs> Convict yourself. <laughs> you see? <laughs> Yes, we're. Uh, I want to get this uh, team started. We're gonna have a Harvest Hope martial arts karate team, and, and, and all the you, you, the ones out there that who know me, you know my teams be nasty. So I'm gonna just throw it out there because I, I I want our followers <laughs> to get this. You said it's it's going to be. What's the cost 
okay, for you know this what? school. Now, we working on that right now, but my thing was to do it free to Highland Park residents. I hope y'all hearing no, no, that, no, HP. No. But you're not letting me finish. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope y'all hearing this. <laughs> my original, and you know I was going to do that. I don't want to charge nobody. But I have to pay rent at the church. And it's only fair. So I have to charge a minimal fee in order to keep the school going. Because, mm. you know, you cannot run nothing with nothing. I just ordered 12 Hundred square feet of mats. I got. So we getting started soon. That's right. what I'm oh, hearing. We, man, I'm talking about in a couple weeks. Oh, Highland yes. Park is y'all. Look out now. We on the Highland Park yes. show in a couple weeks. In we, a couple weeks. Who? You saw them mats come in. I got the the ropes. I got the back. The heavy back. Man. Ooh, mm. Lord God, stop me. Mm mm. Keep going. We we want to hear more about this. More about Oof. this. You said a couple of weeks. I, I am. Let me get back to the pricing first, cause we left that big question. Uh, cause I'm looking at it right before my eyes. I need to pop that out the way. Okay. My original goal, or my original wish, was to give free lessons to Highland Park residents. All they had to do was pay for their dough box and their uh, belt ranking because you mm. have to pay the, the grade up. You know, you have of to course. buy equipment for that. Get your Makes belt sense. the whole nine. You know what I'm saying? And then we participate in tournaments. Okay. They have to pay for that. And they be That's reasonable. Fair. Yes. But since I have to pay rent, I'm charging. Well, I'm not charging. I'm asking for donations of $25 a week. That's not bad. That's actually that's very, yeah. very reasonable. Twenty five dollars a week. Because I know a lot of a lot of classes they charge a lot, exactly, a lot more. And not that. only that, uh, I'm giving group rates, which I'm not going to discuss on the air. We do that, you know. But individually, 20, yeah. But twenty five dollars a week, uh, and what? And you pay for your uh, your dough box. Now, if if the uh, participant want to get their own dough box, that's fine. But they still have to pay for the graphics because we're building a team. We're not just learning martial. Well, we're gonna have people coming in just for you know to do it for conditioning. But my goal is to get the children to see what they can do with the skill that they're learning, mm. how far it can take them. Like me, you see these diamonds in my teeth. These are championships. I can't carry the trophies around, so I had a diamond put in my teeth every time I want a grand championship. That's amazing. You know, so I just, I'm, I'm ready to get busy. You know, God sent me to Harvest Hope. He sent me there. And, and, and I know why I'm there. That's the whole thing. He does amazing things like that. Yes, he so does. So I'm, I'm ready to go. And I also have a little clothing. Oh, before we get, I, I noticed that. But before we get to that, I know you mentioned tournaments. Now, how far are we talking about traveling for these tournaments? Will they be... I'm going to tell you, I fought in Rota, Spain. But we're not going to go to Rota, Spain, y'all. Why well, not? I'm, I'm for, I, and some Olympic stuff happened. Hey, I was the fifth alternate for the uh, 98. The fifth wow. alternate. So it's possible. I believe it. It's possible. But, yeah, we're going to be traveling all over the state, all over the United States. That's, Wherever that tournament at, that interests us, and depending on how well our students adapt to the training, Hey man, they can take their own self around the world. You know, you got I got three fighters that went to the UFC. So these tournaments, I'm quite sure that uh that participants win trophies. Oh, trophies, medals, it's it's uh AAU, so you can't win money. Mm. You know, that's against the rules because they're amateurs. But and you can work yourself to the pros. And, and you can get donations. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they get trophies, awards, certification, uh, exposure. And uh, they can take, they, they take they self, you know, training. It, I mean, practice make perfect. Of course. And I try to get out of the word of saying I train people. I don't train people. I, I, I teach people. I train animals. We're not those type of animals. We're animals, but not those type. I teach individuals now you know that you, you spoke about you know receiving um exposure and these trophies and, and and medals and certificates 
that's really positive reinforcement for our youth um, and getting them to understand the importance of excellence. A great confidence builder. A exactly. And sustainer. Most definitely. And when they feel that, that, uh, that feeling of achievement, it, it strives them to want to do more and to do better. And it only puts them in a the right position to want to think about doing more, thinking on a bigger scale on what they can do in the community yes. to earn different awards. Because a lot of people don't even know that you can earn awards as just being a citizen in the community. Thank you. Thank you. There's Thank a you. lot of people that I know who have been awarded different certificates right. and awards uh, from cities, That's states, right. all different levels of, of our government. Right. I think you've received some several accommodations. Several, several. And I've given out several. And like what you're doing now, you're giving me exposure. You see what I'm saying? That This is good for me. And which is going to make it good for those who come to me. Because I'm only give them the best. I'm 68 and I'm still moving like that lightning, man. God, ooh, he's so good. He's now, so if good. I'm not mistaken, I did hear you say something about a senior day. Yes. So yes, you am. now that that's now that's a community that I definitely feel like would be necessary to to reach as far as getting them back active. Because you know, some you said you're 68. I, I know a lot of people who are 68 that don't really, that don't move off the couch. I'm not talking bad about anybody. No, it's but not I'm a, just. It's I know truth. where we have to. Even though you know you may increase in age, that does not mean you have to decrease in mobility oh, or agility. Oh, say it again. <laughs> that was beautiful. So what what are we doing with uh with, with the, the seniors? Senior, with the seniors' day, I'm gonna bring them in. No, you guys don't have to. If, if young ladies, we don't have to kick all to the sky and to the ceiling. It ain't anything about that. It's about doing an exercise that get your blood blood flowing you know like um uh wing chun you know it's a a flowing exercise and yeah you got to like i said the exercises are fight moves so as you do these exercises you build strength and in that strength you build confidence mm. so you know somebody may grab you thing and you old and decrepit and Cool. It's, it's, you better watch out. Snap, you better, you better w <laughs> look. We man <laughs> get some snapped on them quick. <laughs> I, I have people ask me. They they tell me you ain't sixty eight. No, the, you is not. <laughs> when you told me that first thing came to my mind was a. Uh, I seen a cartoon back in the day of an old lady walking on the walker, and she somebody walked up on her, and she she dropped that walk. <laughs> But, you know, that's definitely big for our seniors, yeah. especially when they get older, you know. Yes. They lose that that confidence in being able to defend everything. themselves. Yes. Yes. So with learning this, and it doesn't, t and I'm sure you can tell them, it doesn't take a, a lot of, you know, it's, it's a progressive thing. You can sit at home in front of your TV as a senior and do the exercises I'm going to teach you. Mm. The thing is doing them. <laughs> Anybody could do exercises. The thing is doing them. Consistency. Yeah, just that's all you have to do. If you gonna sit down all day, find something that you can do that's gonna work your whole body while you sitting down, and in your idle time and sitting, do that exercise. You know, so it's it's not uh, rocket science. Wow, I, I'm I'm super excited. So. I know you said you've trained as young as three. So what ages are we looking to target for the school moving forward? Three and over. Three and over. <laughs> there it is. If you've got the young ones and they three years old and you trying to put them in something because they just active and you don't know what to do, come bring them down right. to, to Grandmaster Dixon's Bible. And I job. wanted to say something uh, when we was we were speaking on uh, how it builds the confidence of the student and, and uh, just give them an overall brighter look at life. Mm-hmm. That also trickles to the family because I've taught, oh, my God, we do these tournaments, man, Chicago, St. Louis, Indiana, uh, California, Alabama. The family be ready to go like they fighting. <laughs> so I got to ask, when you travel, do you do other things like tour, you know, tour popular areas in the cities that you when you, take the, when you take the kids no, to No, generally when we go to a tournament, if we go to that city early, we may splouge out 
uh, go to a restaurant or two, you know, let people see where we're from. You know, where we from? Highland Park. But we're not going to be hanging out. Oh, no, we, I didn't we, mean we, as no, far no, as hanging out. I understand what you're saying. No, we go in, we get the prize, and we come back home. Uh, we <laughs> we come back home because, see, we got people at see, home. We got the show. Yeah, you yeah. know, all of the... The friends and say, oh, are you taking karate now? That stuff don't work. Are you doing that stuff? Why you? But when they start winning them awards and trophies, they be like, That's, can, can I get in? Yes. Anybody who want to train, come train. All I ask the students, have respect. If you don't have no respect, you can't come to me. Mm. You can't come. So as far as I know you spoke of if you don't have respect now now what is what what do you what do I mean by that? Yeah. Ones who don't obey their parents. Mm. Ones who know what to do and don't do it. Ones who just being defiant just to be defiant. So you do know, you, do you have a way to, to 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 break that? If they if the parent bring them to me, oh. see they gotta bring them to me. I hope y'all hearing this, parents. Yeah, bring them I, to I me. I hope you hearing this, parents. If you got somebody at home that just don't listen, you don't know yeah, what to do. Yeah, just bring them to me. <laughs> now I'm not on a brick abuser. Please don't get that wrong. We, I teach fit, baby. Ooh, I teach. <laughs> okay. God gave me this. We we don't we don't do the abuse. God gave me this. I teach, and I'm a very likable person. I've, oh my God, I wish I could have bought a few of my students it would, or, or their parents. Mm. But like I said, you know, you don't know how good the cake is by looking at it. You got to taste it. I mean, that is very true. I've seen some very tasty cakes, some very tasty looking, looking cakes. <laughs> bite into it and, and you, you'd be like, who made this? I, I cut the biggest slice <laughs> <laughs> and stuck it off. That's why we eat everybody food. No. But uh, I... Yes, we're we're waiting. We're ready to get started. I am so excited. I, I'm getting the gym safe for everybody. I just ordered 400 children's mouthpieces. I just ordered 400 uh, multicolored uh, children's face masks, so they will be uh, covered. We are protecting against COVID-19. That's right. I have a hand sanitizer. Um, every this is going to be a beautiful experience. For everybody involved, that's all I can say. Because God is feeding it to me, and He He putting it in me so fast. Apparently, He don't want me to say everything at the same time. So I got to show it. And you remember when we was had a meet, and I just said, Dre, I said I, I'm ready to go. So three and up, is there any cutoff? What if, What if I was interested? I'm 68, and I'm still. I'm look. I'm still. I'm I'm teaching, but I'm learning too. You know, I learn as I teach so other people. I, I hope you're hearing that, parents. If, you, yes. if you're interested as well, you can bring your kids down. You stay with them. I run out of breath, too. I, I'm going to be sitting right with them. But now, we, we in shape. And that's what it's about. It's about not just being in shape, you but getting in shape. That's right. Staying and don't give in up. Shape. That's right. So, you know, I heard you talking. Uh, I, I heard you, you do some commercials and demos. What are those, what are those looking Ooh. <laughs> it's just gonna be a wonderful thing, Dre. I'm I'm serious, man. You can see it in my eyes, and we we talk a little bit. We go to church together. You know, I'm so serious. My heart is is busting out, waiting to show what we getting ready to do. I say we because Bishop Evans is opening his doors for this. You know what I'm saying? And it's a safe environment where we at. Completely so. Oh, my God. You can't come in in that area but love it. But love it. That Soul Harvest, we have a saying. Oh, Come to Soul Harvest where you'll experience the love and love the experience. You can't do nothing but love it. And it's real. I haven't heard that saying, you know, because I'm new. But once I came, I was hooked. <laughs> I get ready to bring drums over there and... <laughs> But uh, yeah, we're we're getting ready to really uh, do something in Highland Park for the people. We're gonna open the doors for everybody that wanna to be more than what they are mm. or feel better than, mm. than how they feel. Mm. We we the doors open for you. Come and if you have ideas, 
bring them. And I also want to uh, stress that uh, we do take donations because the more donations I get, the better that gym going to be, the better equipped. So how can people make donations and how can people reach you? Okay, the flyers will be ready soon. Right now, donations could be made in care of Grandmaster Dixon Taekwondo and Kung Fu Institute to Soul Harvest Church because I want everybody to know this is honest. Mm -hmm. The monies that I get, I'm spending it all on equipment. I got equipment in my cart right now on my phone waiting to push the button to order it. Mm -hmm. Just like I did them 1,200 square feet of mats, them ropes. And you know what I'm saying? Right now, I ain't paying for everything. Plus your heart. Plus my other bills. <laughs> we all got those. Yeah, but I'm not even letting that bother me because I know this is God doing this. this He's is God's me. work. This is right. Sure. So I, I can't I can't stop if I even wanted to. It's, I got too much it's energy bigger. to go. It's, it's, it's bigger, bigger than me. Than, yeah, completely. It's way bigger than me. And I feel it. That's the whole thing. Can't just, it's not just one of us. Man. So how, how can people reach you, Grandmaster, to, uh, to, you, to inquire more about the, the classes? Uh, you know, I just don't like people playing on my phone. Oh. But, uh, they can reach me. Serious inquiries only. Yeah. You matter of fact, reach me yet on Facebook. Come in my inbox. Marshall Dixon. I got like five pages, but I read them all. I have a uh, self-defense page. Mm -hmm. I have the crime and punishment page. I have my IDC MMA Fight League page. I have a Motor City, Motor City Satin Panther, Panther page. So all they got to do is go on Facebook, type in Marshall Dixon. Or go on YouTube and type in Grandmaster Marshall Dixon Bay World Records. Yeah, I think I seen one of your videos on YouTube. I think you were smashing bricks. Uh, yeah, I'm. You I'm, have a world record for that? Uh, yeah, I got like five. I'm, 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 you have? Did you, <laughs> yeah. did you say you have five world records? Yeah, I, I bust bricks, man. I. It's just something about the power of the martial arts. So, what do you use to bust these bricks? I'm not. Not your hands, right? Yeah, I use my hands. My fists. Your bare hands? Forearm. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. don't wear, like, gloves or nothing like that? The, I have... They don't be padded. The gloves that I had on had the fingers cut out. <laughs> and I ain't even hit with my hands. I hit with my forearm. Wow. So, I'm sure it's a technique to that, correct? It, it, it is. Okay. And I actually teach brick and board breaking in the courses. Okay, so I hope you hear that, people at home. Yeah. Please do not try... And just go break any bricks. Yeah, we don't just, want you hurting your hands. Right. But if me. you come down to Grandmaster Taekwondo, he will definitely show you how to break a couple of bricks. And you might you might make it make make yourself famous. Go on, look, breaking some bricks, it's, post the video. That's right. And you speaking on them demos, I'm actually gonna get with you and Bishop so that one day we're gonna do demos in church. What kind of demos can we expect to see? Breaking bricks. Oh, so we're going to break down the evil in your life Woo. and build up the spirituality. So we're going to use the bricks to do the breaking. Because mm. it's hard to break down the evil in your life. It is. But we're going to show how easy it is. I'm going to show you how easy it is to break them bricks. You're going to yeah. see me break Oh, that was easy. It's, it, we can make that evil break down easy. Too. It, it, it's, it's kind of like you said, you know, it's a, it's a, a hard decision, but it's an easy path. Right. It may look hard, but it really only takes one simple muscle or decision that can change the whole trajectory of your entire life. It's only hard if you don't try. If you're just looking at it, yeah, it's hard. But if you try it, you'll find that, whoa. And then as you be consistent at it, it get even easier. And we, we actually learned that in, in, in Christian Bible training last night. So, yes. See how that becomes you know, a part? You know what it was? We was talking what about was it? We what was song talking. was it? I, I'm, Psalms, quiz, I'm quizzing them now. The song, in the book of Psalms? Uh -huh. Which one? 119. What verses? Oh. Uh, oh, 1 through 9. 9 and 11. Oh, not, well, all them ones out there. Hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Just switch that 119 so to the, 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 the verse. The verse, the verses that were highlighted last night yes. in Christian Bible training, um, it was, where should a young man go to cleanse his heart? Mm, mm, mm. 
Yes, he Take heed to the word of God. That's right. And then verse 11 says, Thy word have I hid, hid in my heart so that I might not sin against thee. So once you learn to decipher God's word, it all, life gets a lot. I won't say it does get easier in a sense because you will have more peace and prosperity for your life. But the people and the experiences you have, they don't change. Right. So your life does not get easy. You just have a better and easier way of handling yourself on a mature level. You become more spiritually inclined as opposed to being morally, uh, um, worldly, worldly yeah. inclined. Most you know definitely. what I'm saying? And it's hard because... Actually, actually working for God is the hardest thing in the world. It, it obviously have to be because he gives us so much and don't nobody go after more. They say, and a lot of people, you know, a lot of people, they really aren't cognizant as far as how much he's really done for oh, our lives. Breath for number one. Every breath, day. Breath give that. You know what? I used to have people looking and say, you always bless God blessing you and you you this and blah. I, no, no. God bless blessing us all. all. Your breath is your first blessing. And that's the blessing that allows you to go and get other, other blessings. blessings. When you blink your eyes, when you <laughs> open your eyes in the morning. That's a blessing that's right a, the there. the first blessing of your day. And you but see, a lot that. of people overlook the small blessings because they're looking at the big problems. So they say... Yeah, I opened my eyes, put my bank account in the negative. That's because you sitting there looking at your bank account. Exactly. Go but it, and do something to build it up. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you keep looking at it, it's going to stay the same. <laughs> That's Very why so. I'm trying to get this school going. So I done broke myself down doing this. And I'm going to do it regardless. And God will, God will bless and you immensely. And he already knows. And he will take care of you. This now, speaking of, uh, that, it looks like a, and I know people can see it. You, you are, we are we on, on camera. TV, TV, you, you see can, that? Oh, I didn't know that. We are on camera. I didn't know that. So, I want to highlight the outfit you have on. It looks, it, it's nice. Is that, like a, that? is that a Nike sign I see on? No, this is a kick. This is a kick sign here. The kick, that's me kicking. That's that's yeah. you, what? actually. Yeah, that's that's me. And, and uh, let me see. I think I got another one. No, it's on the back. Right here. Wow. Yeah, that's that's me. That's you on the back too. Yeah, that's me kicking. That's just a silhouette of, of me kicking. Wow. It's gonna be on all of the dough box. All of the children gonna have it on the uniform. So we're also so we're getting shoes, so we're getting shoes. custom uniforms. Yeah. So that's now that's your logo on the yep, shoe, right? Yeah, on the shoe. This tells you who I am. Uh, it's a little contract with Converse. So that's is, not that's not a Converse. That's, no, no, no. This is a Baba C. Jow kick. Wow. Yeah. Then so gonna, all the students will be ha will have custom to, uniforms. To, yes. Yes. We 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 coming in right. Wow. Yeah. We we coming in right. So for <laughs> practically, I say a for close to a third of a price at any other martial arts academy you can come right in highland park get the same education if not better it's gonna be better okay we're gonna say a better education and you're gonna get custom uniforms and be able to travel can you sign me up you, you, you in i look here i there's no sense in me teaching these children self-defense and they don't have an outlet in order to see what they, they'll be going to school, fighting, beating up their cousins and stuff. And they're oh, you taking all that karate. And no, we offer them the tournaments so that they can compete and see what I'm teaching them. To see where their skill level's at. That's where the big confidence comes. Oh, I'm taking this and it actually worked. They learn to respect the fight game then. They don't want to be all out fighting because they know what they could do. Yeah. And they know they'll get in trouble if they do it. And it wasn't warranted. We want you guys to know you guys are watching the Highland Park show with your co-host today, Andre Bell. We have a special guest, Grandmaster Martian Dixon. We are live streaming on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter, and other top social media platforms. Please like, follow, share, comment, and subscribe. 
Thank you for watching WZZ Cool TV, the coolest station in the world. Um, so back to what we were talking about. Uh, I, I'm just, I'm truthfully, I'm excited because, you know, I, this is something for our people in the community that has been lacking a sense of togetherness and unity. And this is definitely going to help that. So do you have any notable mentions of people that you, you've taught or trained before? That question kind of just came in my, yeah, in my mind. Yeah, uh, I do. Um, any, any of them you care to mention? Uh, Big Ox. Okay. Uh, Raheem Morgan, although he's passed, not rest in peace. That, that brother, that he ran a bodyguard service. Mm. I trained all his bodyguards, all his guards. You know, they had big clients. Uh, I've also did a lot of work. I did work with uh, Luke the Campbell. Okay. I've done work with uh, Mary J. Blige and her sister when she was, a lot of y'all wasn't born in this back in the day. So all of these I'm mentioning, this is, I remember I'm 68, mm -hmm. so I'm mentioning a lot of uh, old stuff, you know. But I, I got a lot of uh, Robert Townsend, uh, oh my goodness, Lil' Kim, uh, Destiny Child, uh, the three boys when they was a uh, Belleville DeVoe before when they was kids they used to come to Michigan to Detroit and go to the skating rink out in uh, uh Roseville mm. we were they rent the whole the rink just for them before they do their shows and we took them around to radio interviews and stuff like that uh so I, I've got a lot of uh clan people that I've trained too many to mention you know? so would you say your hands are a certified weapon okay I hear a lot of this sometimes. People, my hands registered. No, it's no. <laughs> no, yeah. Your hands don't be registered. You just get certified. Certification and registration is two different things. Mm. You know, dietitians and stuff like that. Doctor, those people have to be registered. They get their certification through going to school. Right. But as a martial artist, you uh, we have systems. And through our systems is how we get certified. Like with me, I have uh, let me show you what I, what I mean. Because I also do MMA as well. But that's why I got you off of it because you was tying in two different uh, entities. But this is a matchmaker's license, and this is my MMA official MMA ID. So a lot of my students, when they're learning traditional karate, they want to do more than fight in. <laughs> they want to do more than fight in a traditional tournament. As they get older, they want to get a little rougher with what they've learned. Right. So they go to MMA, a more uh, physical form of fighting. So you do training in MMA oh, as yes. well? Oh, yes. Oh, wow. yes. 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 I love MMA. So See, can we expect to bring MMA to Highland Park? Yeah. Oh, yes. I run the IDC MMA Fight League. We wanted a fifth... Uh, Large one of the fifth battle in this fight club in Michigan. You heard it here oh, first on guys. WJZZ. Oh, yeah. Look forward to MMA and HP coming real soon. Um, we we just about ready to wrap up here. Um, I just want to thank you for coming on today. Um, wonderful insight on what's to look forward to up and coming in, in our city. Um, we're just so thankful for the for our viewers for watching online. Uh, you heard where it's how to reach out to inquire about our the martial arts school that's coming very soon to Highland Park and on the campus of Soul Harvest Ministries. Um, please don't be a stranger. Reach out to Grandmaster Dixon um, on Facebook to, to inquire more information. I want to also uh, let the viewers know that the the uh, donations don't have to be monetary. They can get gym equipment for us. We need all kind of gym equipment. You know, focus pads, uh, kick pads, uh, gr uh, protectors, groin protectors for the, uh, the, the children, uh, all kind of stuff. 
you know. So however you guys want to donate, yeah. whether that be monetarily or do through other con acts of kindness or, or different equipment that's needed to to bring this academy yeah. and, and school to life, because this is definitely going to be for our community yes. moving forward, to for our people to learn how to to defend ourselves and also learn how to defend ourselves in our mind and with our words, so we don't have to always use our hands. But when needed, we will know how to use our hands. <laughs> We have a saying, never underestimate. If engaged, we shall participate. Well, you heard it here first. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in today. Catch us again next Thursday at 2 o'clock. Um, we'll be talking more about what is to come in our beautiful rising city of Highland Park. But thank you guys for watching. We appreciate all the views and all the viewers. Um, like he said, please, please reach out whether you want to donate or participate in the MMA and, and martial arts and mixed martial arts coming very soon.